Do you own a Pioneer DDJ400 and wonder how to turn the vinyl mode on and off, seeing as there's no dedicated buttons? Well, this tutorial might be just what you're looking for. Hey, welcome back to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate and deactivate the vinyl mode on the DDJ400 controller when you're using it with Rekordbox. There aren't specific dedicated buttons like on other controllers to turn that vinyl mode on and off. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna break it down in two different ways. We can either use your keyboard or we can MIDI map that feature to the controller itself. If you don't want to follow along with the MIDI mapping section of this tutorial, then just click the link at the end to download the MIDI mapping and you can just import it to your record box and it will work just the same. Please remember to always like, comment, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of more videos like this as they're uploaded. Let's get stuck into it. Out of the box, the Pioneer DDJ400 comes with vinyl mode activated. What this means is when the track is playing and you touch the top of the jog wheel, you can scratch and scrub through the track. Now this is great for scratch DJs, but if you're nudging the track to try get it in time and accidentally touch the top of the jog wheel, this can cause problems when you're mixing. So how do we turn vinyl mode off so the top of the jog wheel just becomes a nudge like the edge of the jog wheel. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by using keyboard shortcuts. So this is probably the quickest way and if you're not going to be turning it on and off lots in the mix then this is probably the best solution. Just go to the record box gear icon here and then under keyboard in the preferences I've just got it set on performance one as standard and then what we need to do is open up deck one and find vinyl mode which is located here. Now you'll notice there is no keyboard shortcut assigned so we need to assign one. All I need to do is add a key mapping by pressing plus and then naturally you would think well maybe I want V for vinyl mode to be the shortcut but you'll see if I press V it says that that is currently assigned to playback slot 3 and this means it's assigned to the third sampler deck. So rather than overwrite that let's choose a different combination. You could overwrite that if you don't use the sampler and press OK and go through the steps, but a really simple way is you can use a double feature. So if we press plus, we can do command and V, and that one isn't taken by anything. So you can see now on my Mac, I've got command and V for deck one. Press OK. That's now saved into the key MIDI mapping on the keyboard. Let's now do deck two because that will only work on the left hand side. So find vinyl mode and this time I'm going to do option and V. Now you can choose whatever combination you want or whatever key mapping you want but I'm going to choose it in this way. Press OK. Make sure you come out of the preferences window for it to activate and now you'll see when the track's playing if I press command and V and then touch the top of the jog wheel it doesn't stop and if I go backwards it slows the track down if I go forwards, it speeds it up. Command and V again, and I've got vinyl mode back on. Same on the opposite side. Vinyl mode's on, option V, vinyl mode off. Option V again, vinyl mode back on. Really simple. The second way to do it is to remap some of the buttons on your actual controller. Now, if you find that you use most of the features on your controller, then that first solution is probably best. But if, for example, I'm going to map shift and the back arrow here to be my vinyl on and off, because I'm not going to be deleting memory points that often. That's what that feature currently is. There aren't any spare buttons on the controller that you can map, really. So you're going to have to remove some features to add this one in. Okay, so to do this, just go to MIDI. Then I need to delete, first of all, the current feature here, which is Shift and the back call button, the left-hand call button, which is to delete a memory queue. And I know that this is in pads, and then we've got here at the top, memory queue delete for decks one and two. Let me just delete that. Okay, memory queue delete, delete that for deck two. Now I just need to add the vinyl mode in back on my deck mode. So go into deck, click add, vinyl, and then do it again, add vinyl. So we've got deck one and then deck two. Now it's as simple as pressing learn and on, I'm on deck two at the moment. So I need to do it on this side, hold shift and the back button 
and you'll see that the code has appeared in the MIDI out column here. Let's go up, it's still on learn, onto the left hand side, shift back button, and it's now learned that. Remember to uncheck learn, and then you can see if I press this and back, vinyl mode's on, vinyl mode's off. Turn it back on again, same on the other side. Vinyl mode's off, vinyl mode's on, vinyl mode's off. You can mess around with the MIDI options on your controller, adding and removing and personalizing it. And then if you want to save that, you can export it by clicking here. And I'm just going to save it as DDJ 400 Vinyl Mode. And I'll save that to my desktop. Now, if you don't want to go through the hassle of that, then that MIDI mapping is going to be available via the link. You'll have to sign up and then check your emails and we'll send you an automatic email with the download to that exact MIDI file that I've just saved. When you get into your software, all you will do is open up this panel, then click import. No, I don't want to save that one and then find it, open. And then that will add in those MIDI mapping options. And there it is, two different ways you can turn on or off the vinyl mode with the DDJ 400. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you start to apply this to your controller, let us know in the comments below. And as I promised, if you just want to do it the quick way and download the MIDI mapping yourself, then just sign up via the link and we'll send it to you via an email. If you want to learn more tips and tricks like this and creative mixing techniques to apply to your DJ sets, remember to check out our online DJ courses specifically for the Rekordbox software and this controller such as the DDJ 400. You can click the link to view those courses now. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another tutorial very soon.